Greetings Guardians, Dr. Galactic here. On this segment, I will talk about the basketball court in King's Fall and how to get there. This secret room exists in the Pistons section of the King's Fall raid. You must have a full fire team of six to complete the mechanics in order to get to this room. It all comes down to timing and control with your jumping with your character. A titan is used in this video to demonstrate the necessary steps required to get this done. So let's not wait any longer and get straight into it. Alright, the mechanics are as follows. There are six light spikes littered around this area. For the purposes of this video, I will label them as switches. These switches must be activated in the correct sequence to then enable a disabled piston at the entrance. First. The switches will be assigned numbers, based on the amount of spikes underneath the light spikes. Let's get to the closest spike first. Alright, to get to this first light spike, you need to drop down from the entrance to the lowest ledge at the bottom, where the piston is next to the calcified fragment that you would pick up. Now you have to jump around to land on a spike underneath the lights, and all you have to do is walk away from it to deactivate, it will turn green as such. If you count the number of spikes underneath the light spike, you will see there's three, so this is labeled switch number three. Now when you walk towards the light spike, you will notice it turning orange, which, mean, which means that this is activated. Okay, to get to the next switch across from the entrance, what you need to do is you need to let the first piston attack. When it retracts, position yourself right here and let the piston take you to where you need to go. When it has, use your jump to correct yourself. When you land on one of these major spikes, you need to walk away from the lights so that you can count how many spikes there are underneath the lights. Now if you look closely, there are 4 spikes here. Therefore, this will be labeled switch 4. And to activate this switch, just walk towards the green and it will turn orange. Alright, to get to the next switch in the list, you need to use the path to get to the exotic chest. And once you're at the exotic chest, there are extra platforms that you can spawn by using your ghost to then get to the other side. When you get to the other side, there are spikes right above that you can jump to. And all you have to do is position yourself on this particular spike where I'm jumping on. And when you do, you can look back 180 degrees and you can see it's right above. So all you have to do is jump up and you can make it. So all you have to do is position yourself on the highest spike next to the lights and there you are. If you look down you can count this is spike switch number 6. To get to the switch that is across from switch number 6 you need to use the piston next to the ledge where you would normally jump off from to get to switch number 6. So using this piston right here and jumping on top of it you can then let it take you to switch number 2. To get to switch number 1, approach the first plate that needs to be activated to get to the other side and from there use the exotic chest route to get to the exotic chest. Once you have, from there, all you have to do is make it to the second plate if you don't have anyone activating the plates. Otherwise just do it normally and activate the first plate to get to the second plate. And once you're on the second plate, just let someone stand on the second plate so you can get to the first switch. So all you have to do is if you don't have anyone activating the second plate, you can do this. And once you have, this is the first switch. Alright, to get to switch number 5, which is the last on the list, you need to get to the end of this puzzle. Once you have, when you get to the lights, all you have to do is look in front and you can see the light spike that has five spikes on it. So from here, all you have to do is position yourself and start running and hopefully with max agility you can get there. It's very easy to do on a titan. I'm not very sure if you can do it on a warlock or hunter, but you can definitely try if you have a sword. So all you have to do is get some distance and start running and jump off at the correct distance away from the ledge and when you have just land on any of the major spikes and you will be absolutely fine and there you go switch number five 
Okay, once you've positioned everybody on light spikes, all you have to do is activate them in the correct sequence to then turn on the dead piston. The correct code for the PS4 would be 416523, and there will be a different code for the Xbox. It will all be in the description down below. So once you've activated all of these in the correct sequence, you will notice the dead piston activate. Once it has, you have to make your way back to the start of the entrance. And once you have, you have to position yourself in the correct place on the dead piston to then let it take you all the way to the room. And once one person has made it to the room, uh, there will be platforms that will spawn for your teammates to get there. And that's it. And there you have it folks, the basketball court of King's Fall. If you enjoyed this guide, please like and subscribe to this channel for more guides on destiny. Cheers.